account numbers, even if they use account numbers, you might further go back in here and say, hey, you know, I'd rather try to maybe organize my expense accounts by the the largest to the smallest or something like that, the more relevant accounts up top, as opposed to whatever order they happen to be in, because that might look at, make it look a little cleaner and that might also uh, make it, you know, more relevant in that you got the more relevant expenses up top. Okay, so we're gonna so we're gonna create this thing. I'm just gonna call it an income statement. Income statement. I should do the you know the date date and whatnot, but I'm just gonna keep it generic income statement. I'm gonna highlight a couple a couple. Let's make like three of these. Do our header thing with the font group. Make this black and white. Black and white on the header as has been our custom. Making this a little bit larger now. Dragging it to the right. And then we'll make our subcategory for revenue. So off, oftentimes when you're looking at the an income statement, if you look at like a QuickBooks or something like that, they often group the income accounts under the subcategory of income. I think the revenue might be, you know, a more professional type of name than income or, you know, sales. Sales might be an account, but you'd often group it under under income. Also, We'll often call it an income statement as opposed to a profit and loss if it's more of a formal presentation. You can change that. You could change, in other words, the income statement header in a lot of accounting software if it's presented as a profit and loss. You can't really change the subcategories for revenue oftentimes. It's going to be called income up there. Not a big deal, but you know, you could, you could, that's something you could, you know, do differently if you so 